Introduction Rescue teams play a crucial role in saving lives and protecting communities during emergencies and disasters. They are often the first responders on the scene and their quick and effective actions can make all the difference in the outcome of an emergency. However, despite their critical importance, rescue teams face numerous challenges and obstacles that can hinder their ability to perform their duties effectively. From communication breakdowns to lack of resources and training, there are a myriad of issues that need to be addressed in order to enhance the efficiency and effectiveness of rescue teams. Usage of an IoT enabled device can greatly help improve the performance of rescue teams. The National Disaster Response Force NDRF, is an Indian specialized force constituted for the purpose of social response to a threatening disaster or situation or disaster under the Disaster Management Act 2005. The Disaster Management Act has statutory provisions for constitution of National Disaster Response Force for the purpose of specialized response to natural and man-made disasters. Accordingly, in 2006, NDRF was constituted with 8 battalions. At present, NDRF has a strength of 12 battalions with each battalion consisting of 1149 personnel. The practice of proactive availability of this force to the states and that of pre-positioning in a threatening disaster situation have immensely helped to minimize damage caused due to natural calamities in the country. Since its inception, NDRF has continued to win hearts of millions of countrymen by demonstrating its expertise and compassion while handling disaster situations. The list of such challenges is long, to cite a few. A six-story building collapsed at Bellari, Karnataka in January 2010. In a meticulously planned, round-the-clock operation lasting seven days, the NDRF rescued 20 trapped live victims and retrieved 29 bodies. In a multi-story factory building collapse at Jalandhar in April 2012, the NDRF successfully rescued 12 live victims trapped under the huge rubble of debris and also recovered 19 dead bodies. The sterling services rendered by 46 NDRF personnel in response to the triple disaster in Japan in March-April 2011 has also won NDRF laurels. Let's discuss about the problems faced by rescue teams in detail. There are three frequent natural disasters that occur in the Indian subcontinent. Floods, cyclones, landslides. In all the above situations, the rescue teams face the following difficulties with Proper communication system When stricken by a catastrophic natural disaster, the efficiency of disaster response operation is very critical to life save. However, communication systems, including cellular networks, were usually crashed due to various causes, making the coordination among a large number of disorganized disaster response workers extremely difficult. Unfortunately, the rapid development of many existing emergency communication systems lies on a good transportation system which is usually not available in a catastrophic natural disaster. Poor navigation system Nowadays, most of the countries around the world encounter effect of dis disasters. Disasters can occur anytime and anywhere without giving any alarm or message. During the disaster, the rapid response and recovery activities are critical issues to save lives and properties. The effective response actions play a vital role in the disaster situation because the large amount of properties and valuable lives are depending on it. But the rescue teams and emergency organizations have many problems and delays to give the effective response to the victim areas. To reduce the risk and damage, the identifying the best evacuation routes for rescue teams is vital. When stricken by a natural disaster, the detection of victims could be a complex process. People could be stuck in a remote or an inaccessible place which is hidden from the rescue teams. Significant delay in triage In emergency situations such as natural disasters or mass casualty incidents, timely triage is essential to ensure that patients receive appropriate and timely care. However, significant delays in the triage process can occur for a variety of reasons including lack of trained personnel, inadequate equipment or supplies, and communication breakdowns. These delays can have serious consequences. 
automated patient condition monitoring. The NDRF personnel doesn't use an automated system for aiding the patients. Instead, the people actively monitor and record the victim's health. But the things like oxygen percentage, body temperature, etc. can be monitored and recorded using an automated device. This helps the personnel to rescue more people at once. We aim to solve all the discussed problems which rescue teams are facing, um, in particular NDRF. With that said, our customers are going to be the rescue teams like NDRFs or SDRFs struggling with existing situations to go do good to the people. Let's discuss about the problems faced by the rescue teams while rescuing the victims for some major natural disasters. Chennai floods 2015. Chennai is the capital city of Tamil Nadu and has an estimated GDP of 58.6 billion US dollars and the fourth main city of India in terms of GDP per capita in 2014. Situated along the eastern coast of India, Chennai is exposed to violent storm surges and flooding. during northeast monsoons the city and neighboring coastal districts in november december 2015 when a devastating flood affected more than 4 million people claimed more than 470 lives and resulted in an enormous economic loss this did handicap the affected community by adversely affecting the educational system food availability mobility and access to energy on a daily basis This flood put many urban populations of these areas in great difficulty and caused severe damages to public and private property. Water entered buildings even in first floors in some areas, stranding residents on building rooftops without essential provisions, food, water and electricity. Besides completely damaging all their household durable assets and motor vehicles and rendering their homes uninhabitable for a long period to come. with estimates of damages and losses ranging from nearly 200 billion rupees to over 1 trillion rupees the floods were the cool costliest to have occurred in 2015 and were among the costliest natural disasters first responders such as the fire department the ndrf and the police in particular faced a plethora of challenges and obstacles they not only had the responsibility of conducting rescue operations but also a road clearance and provision of other facilities to ensure supply of basic necessities throughout the affected communities the following picture shows the overall situation in 2015 in early may 2008 cyclone nagas passed over burma after forming in the bay of bengal at one point nagas was a category 4 cyclone with sustained winds of 210 kilometers per hour according to the reports According to official figures, 84,500 people were killed and 53,800 people went missing. A total of 37 townships were significantly affected by the cyclone. The UN estimates that as many as 2.4 million people were affected. Structural damage throughout Myanmar was extensive, causing a causing over a million to become homeless after the event. In the first few days following the cyclone, as many as 2 lakh 60 thousand people were living in camps throughout the Irradi River Delta. Cyclone Nargis is at least the second deadliest named cyclone ever after recorded globally, behind Typhoon Nina, which killed over 1 lakh people in China. Because the actual number of deaths is unknown, and over a million were to possibly lost their lives during the event. Cyclone Nargis may end up being the deadliest cyclone on record and also the third deadliest recorded natural disaster behind the Yellow River floods that affected China in 1887 and 1931 killing at least 1.9 million combined. Most of these who died were killed by a 3.5 meter wall of water that hit the low lying Irade Delta. They included 10,000 people who perished in one town, Bogale, south of southwest of Yangon. Landslides due to floods damaged several houses and structures, killing those who were trapped. The heavy rains resulted in large flash floods and massive landslides. Entire villages and settlements were obliterated, while the market town of Sanprayag suffered heavy damage and loss of lives. 
As many as 4,000 people were trapped by landslides in a valley near a Hindu shrine in the Indian Himalayas, which days after floods killed more than 100 people. This washed away roads and more than 20 bridges, demolishing 365 houses and partially damaged a further 275 in Uttarakhand. The death toll was later placed at 6,054 overall. A report uncovered the extent of sector-specific damage of the flooding, which included an estimated 1 billion US dollar loss in tourism revenue for the year. And by the end of the recovery period, more than 3.8 billion US dollars in total were lost. The Indian Army and Public Works Department and local administrations worked together for quick rescue operations. Several thousand soldiers were deployed for rescue missions. 2,000 strong ITBP force with its mountaineering skills and improvisation methods started rescue of stranded pilgrims. According to official figures by ITBP, they were able to rescue 33,009 pilgrims in 15 days on their own from extremely remote and inaccessible areas. In conclusion, disaster rescue teams face a wide range of challenges when responding to emergencies and natural disasters. These challenges can include inadequate resources, communication breakdowns, logistical difficulties and risk to personal safety. Addressing these challenges requires a coordinated and a collaborated effort between governmental agencies, non-governmental organizations and the broader community. By improvising the disaster preparedness measures, investing in training and equipment for rescue teams, prioritizing the needs of affected communities, we can help to reduce the impact of disasters and save lives. It is critical that we continue to support the efforts of disaster rescue teams and work towards building more resilient and sustainable communities. Also, the usage of IoT devices has the potential to significantly improve the effectiveness and efficiency of disaster rescue teams by providing the real-time data on a range of factors including the location of survivors, the status of infrastructure and resources, and the progress of rescue operations, IoT devices can help rescue teams make more informed decisions and respond more quickly to emergencies. Additionally, IoT devices can help to reduce the rescue personnel by providing remote monitoring and control of hazardous environments. While there are challenges to implement IoT devices in disaster response, including issues around privacy and data security, the benefits of these devices are clear. By investing in IoT technology and developing effective policies and protocols for its use, we can improve the safety and success of disaster rescue operations, ultimately helping to save lives and reduce the impact of natural disasters. Thank you. Aapda prabandhan mein jute kisi prakrutik sankar ke samay ya haat se ke samay राहत के काम में जुटने वाले उन जवानों को भी याद करने का है जिनकी सेवा की बहुत चर्चा नहीं की जाती मैं आज देशवासियों का कहना चाहता हूं पिछले कुछ वर्षों से कहीं पर भी प्राकृतिक आपदा होती है तो आपने देखा होगा एनडीआरएफ लिखे हुए जवानों को यूनिफॉर्म में रात दिन वहां कड़ी मेहनत करके लोगों की जान बचाते हुए आपने देखा राहत के काम में जुटे साथियों को बहुत बहुत बधाई देता हूं